Today, as we move up the bay of this magic city of over seven and a half million people, we find the commercial and entertainment capital of America. We are dazed by the great beauty of the harbor and the inspiring skyline made by its giant buildings called skyscrapers. Some of these structures are familiar the world over, such as the Flatiron Building, the Woolworth Building, and a group of 14 dignified buildings in the center of town called Radio City. One of New York's very early skyscrapers, towering 47 stories over the city, was the Singer Building. Today, reaching 1,248 feet above the pavement, a mammoth structure of 102 floors, the tallest building in the world is the Empire State Building. Off we go into the wild blue yonder, climbing high into the sun. Here they come to me to meet our thunder. Had a boy, give her the gun. Contact. Contact. Number one to starter, number one to starter, elevation 125th floor, ceiling zero. Roger, over and out. The financial district, Wall Street, is only a few blocks long, but boy, can you be caught short. On the stock exchange, and sometimes on the very street itself, deals are negotiated that affect the fate of entire nations. I'll trade you my new top for your pen knife. It's a deal. In great tunnels underneath this amazing city, the subway trains roar. The New Yorker knows that the only way to get a seat in the subway is to go where they make them and sit down. Seeing the subway this empty is rather unusual. But this isn't. In this marvelous city where over a million automobiles crowd its narrow streets, the cabby is one of its most careful drivers. And also the most accurate. The public library on Fifth Avenue is designed in neoclassic style. The entrance to this three-story marble building is guarded by two large stone carved lions. <whistles> hmm, did I say lions? Linking Manhattan and New Jersey is the Lincoln Tunnel. It consists of twin tubes underneath the Hudson River, approximately 8,000 feet long, and, well, suppose we let the Lincoln Tunnel speak for itself. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent more than 18 bridges connect Manhattan with the other boroughs. The oldest and the most famous is the Brooklyn Bridge. <laughs> hmm, traffic seems to be going to the dogs this morning. Is Steve Bow Wowdy going to make another dive? Say, uh, you little fella, what's all the excitement about? Every time they run this picture, you ask me the same question. The same question. Can't you read? There are more than a hundred parks where children can get out and engage in sports that would otherwise be impossible on the congested sidewalks of New York. Sidewalks of New York. I'm sure that you all know the song of that name, why not join us in singing it? Just follow the bouncing ball. up one of those tall buildings from the sidewalk to the rooftop where they have those fashionable apartments perpetuated in song with a penthouse serenade. Just picture a penthouse way up in the sky with hinges on chimneys for stars to go by a sweet slice of heaven for just you and I when we're on
just over the drive when we're alone. Now to the street of bright lights, chorus girls, dance halls, penny arcades, theaters, and glamour. Let's all join in and sing 42nd Street. <laughs> Square, the crossroads of the world, where most of New York's seven and a half million people crowd and say, where is everybody? Oh, pardon me, folks, but I've been sleeping in the park myself for a week. <laughs> <laughs> 